Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Ali and in this video, we're going to talk about working with anchor points. Now I see a lot of members um, are not aware of where the anchor point is or what it is and um, how can we actually use it. Now, some do know about it from the previous version of Create Studio um, and they may not be using it that much you know, when uh, Create Studio Pro has been launched. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to work with uh, anchor points and I'm going to explain to you what it is and what it can do. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first thing I want to do here is I'll go and grab a rectangle and then I'm going to resize it and, you know, position it to the left, to the right side of my canvas right here. And so uh, just for your information previously um, on the other version of Create Studio, uh, the anchor point was available on the timeline. But now with the pro version, in order for us to find the anchor point, we would have to go under settings when we click on our element right here. And then we can find it right here where it says anchor point. When you click on that, it opens up, you know, the preset settings and you can see a three by three grid that shows you the different anchor points uh, that you can play with to, um, you know, animate your elements. And so anchor points are basically a center point where you want your animation to start from. So for example, it's currently set to uh, center in the middle here. As you can see, there's a, a little circular purple arrow uh, that is into center. So it, let's say, for example, if I want to add a custom animation and I want the my shape here to scale up, so I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to choose scale. Um, I'll leave easing as is and let me just uh, zoom in on the timeline and then I'm going to grab my uh, keyframes. So click on the first on the second key uh, keyframe so I can expand this and show you what that looks like. So if I try and scale it up like this and then go from the beginning of the track, this is how it scales up. So it actually scales up from the center because we have our anchor point, you know, in the middle here or in the center. Now, let's say I want to change this. So I'm going to uh, grab it like this. And then you have a couple of options or two ways to work with uh, your anchor point. You can either click on that, you know, uh, on the anchor point here on your element, just move it around, or you could just use the preset that's um, on top right side of your software. So what I want to do is I want to get my shape here to scale from uh, where it is right now to cover my canvas from the right side to the left side. In order to do that, I would need to go ahead and choose the one um, in the middle right side like that. And then I'm going to need to click on my second keyframe and then expand this to full width of my canvas to cover it. And so if I start playing this, now you can see that it actually uh, animates from the right side to the left side, just exactly how I want it to be. Now, let's say, for example, um, I want to animate it in a different way. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, grab another rectangle like this, and then we're going to expand it. And let's say I want to uh, scale it down like this to give you to give me a small rectangle at the bottom of my canvas like this. So in order to do that, I would need to go ahead and click on the anchor point under settings on the right panel right here. And again, this will open up the preset uh, settings for me to choose where I want it to start or, or where is my um, center point of my animation. So I'm going to choose uh, but a center bottom this one. So as you can see here, uh, it moved the um, anchor point to the bottom here and in the center. And so what I'm going to do next is I'll go ahead and click on add animation and then click on uh, scale. And then I'm going to drag my keyframes a little bit to the right. And then I'm going to click on my second keyframe and I'm going to scale it down like this to give me the little rectangle that I wanted uh, at the, you know, on the bottom of my canvas. So let me go ahead and you know play that for you. And now you can see it does exactly what I wanted because I chose the, the um, anchor point to be in the on the center bottom. So again, if you want to play with your anchor point, um, you can click on anchor point right here and then you can choose one of those uh, presets or you can just simply, you know, uh, click on that little uh, purple 
anchor point on your element and then move it around but just be careful when uh, moving around it's best to work with the presets on the right side for you know and it's a lot easier for you to work with and um, i hope you have a better understanding now of the anchor points and how to use it uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video